Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you introduction to Microsoft Expression Web 4. Once again, I repeat the topic, introduction to Microsoft Expression Web 4. So these are the objectives in which I'm going to teach you using this presentation. First, let me see introduction to HTML and what is a website what is a web page exploring expression web environment how to create an empty website how to add a web page to empty website how to save a web page how to preview the HTML output in a web browser let me see one by one first what is a website a website is a collection of web pages that are accessed through a common URL so what is a URL uniform resource locator once again I repeat the definition a website is a collection of web page that are accessed through a common URL called as uniform resource locator so here are the some of the examples for website www.omenair.com www.nevaros.com www.manpower.gov.om www.bankmusket.com www.htc.edu.om so these are the some of the examples for website so why people visit website there are generally two reasons uh, generally people visit website for two reasons what are they to find information they need to complete the task once again I repeat people visit website for two reasons to find the information they need to complete the task. What is a web page? A web page is an electronic document that runs on a web browser. Once again, I repeat, a web page is an electronic door document that runs on a web browser. Okay, so a web page can be static or dynamic. So, what is the definition for a web page? A web page can be in any electronic document that runs, that executes using web browser or that runs on a web browser we can call it as a web page a web page can be static or dynamic let me see what is a static first so what is a static web page a static web page is a web page in which the content of the web page cannot be changed based on the user interaction see based on the user interaction if the website content changes we can call it as dynamic so what is a static the content of the web page cannot be changed based on the user interaction if it is a criteria if it is a condition we can call it as static web page so example for static web page is nothing but our HTML or dot HTML files and next what is a dynamic web page a dynamic web page is a web page in which the content of a web page can be changed based on the user interaction if any web page that changes its contents based on the user interaction we can call the web page as a dynamic web page. So, example, uh, you can use the ASP or ASPX, J, uh, JSP, PHP, or ASPX as a dynamic web page technologies. So, what is an HTML? So, why? Because for creating a web page, HTML is a basic. So, once again, I repeat for creating a web page, HTML is a basic. So, what is HTML? So, H stands for hyper. T stands for text, M stands for markup, and L stands for language. So what is HTML? HTML is used to write information on World Wide Web. So what is a World Wide Web? In short, we used to say as W3, World Wide Web, using pre-formatted text. Once again, I repeat, HTML is used to write the information on World Wide Web using pre-formatted text. Okay. So what is World Wide Web? World Wide Web is nothing but a universal database collection of info information such as audio files, video files, text formatted files, images, etc, etc. We can call it as an World Wide Web or else we can call it as World Wide Wide. So what are tags? So the less than and greater than symbol. So these are called as tags. So less than symbol is an opening tag, greater than symbol is a closing tag all HTML information should be written within this tag. so whenever you want to write any HTML information you want to write you want to use this tag. for example I want to 
uh, write an information welcome to fisherman training institute i'll be using a tag called as c it's a opening and closing tag so opening and closing tag so all html output should be viewed using any web browser how to view an html output so you can use a web browsers like firefox chrome or nescaf anything it, to view an html output all html files should be saved with either .html or .htm as an extension file extension once again i repeat all html files if you want to save an html file you should save with .html or .htm as a file extension so html document structure so html will be in having a document structure whenever you are creating an any html document you want to follow this document structure so html document always starts with html tag and next comes your head tag and within head tag there is a title tag and then you want to close the head tag and then comes your body tag so in between the body tags you can write all the information what you want to display on a web page and then you, you want to close the html tag so all html document should follow the document structure okay so next point most of the html tags comes in pair oh, what is a pair so opening and closing tags so for example this is a opening and this is a an closing tag right so opening tag all tags without black slash is called as an opening tag see this tag doesn't have an backslash so it is called as an opening tag so in this example html and body this are called as a opening tags and what is a closing tags all the tags with black slash are called as closing tag so this is a backslash see this html and this body are called as a closing tags the tags with backslash are called as closing tags so now i will teach you how to create a small html file so first in order to do this i'm going to open a new document and i'm going to type and before that so i'm going to okay so i'm going to open uh, just open in uh, wordpad and type the following code html head and title so you want to type welcome to fisherman training institute and close title and then close head tag and open body tag then type fisherman training institute is very good institute or college and close your body tag and then you want to close the html tag one second i repeat open the html tag then open head tag and then open title tag so you want to give the title welcome to fisherman training institute and close the title tag and close the head tag open body tag so and then write the information fisherman training institute a very good college and close your body tag and close the html tag now save it so i'm going to save as ex1.html so file extension .html is called as a file extension i'm going to save it in desktop and save i'm going to close it now here you can able to see ex1 so it's an internet file so i'm going to open this so where this is your web page where you can able to see welcome to fisherman training institute is in title and this is a content fisherman training institute is a very good college so this is how you want to use it so where you want to say here you can able to see this symbol it means that this can be opened with an any browser web browser so this is called as an title and this is called as a address or url and this one is called as an the content or a body and now we are going to discuss about basic html tags okay for example structuring tags more or most pop of popular or frequently used html tags first comes the html tag tells www that is an html document head tag add info whenever you if you want to add any information about your tag you can add that will not be appear on a page title places the title of a page so body tag enclose the section of a page that will be displayed on your browser if you want to feed anything on your web page you should feed the thing in between your body tags and next comes heading tag h1 to h6 increase or decrease the text size 
and this a p is a paragraph tag and br is a line break tag and order list if you want to use any order list for example creating bullets like this monday tuesday wednesday you can use an you will an order list and next comes oil is an order list where you can able to see the list will be ordered by numbers or by alphabets and so on so and hr is a horizontal ruler create an horizontal line on a page and b stands for bold and i stands for italic and it's an image tag and linking you want to use anchor reference or hyper reference create a links to your another document and next comes to uh, expression web4 so what is an expression web4 the microsoft expression web4 is an ide what is an ide integrated development environment so what this expression web4 provides it provides a wide range of web solutions all if any kind of web solutions can be solved using this ide so what is your basic requirements for example it should have 1 ghz or faster processor 1 gb of ram 2 gb or more available hard disk space dot net framework silverlight 4.0 and uh, support for microsoft direct x 9 graphics with windows vista display and driver model and 128 mb of graphics ram or more and dvd and 1024 into 768 or higher resolution monitor with 24 bit color so these are the basic requirements for expression web 4 so how to open expression web or web expression or expression web see first go to start button and go to all programs and then and go to microsoft expression and click on microsoft expression web 4 once again i repeat click on start button where you can able to see all programs click all programs then go to microsoft expression and click microsoft expression web 4 where you can able to see the environment so here so this is called as a title bar and this is called as menu and this entire area is called as a standard toolbar and this are called as page tabs and this one is a toolbar and this one is an apply and manage tabs and this is called as an editing area and this one is called as a folder list and this is called as a property window or area tab or tab area and this is called as a view toggle or design window once again i repeat so this red light is called as a title bar and this green one is called as a menus this white one is called as a standard toolbar and this color is called as a toolbar and this is called as this entire area is called as apply and manage and manager tabs and this one is called as a view toggle and design window and this is called as property window or area tab and this is called as folder option again i repeat so this is called as title bar and this menu and this one is a standard toolbar and this is called as page tabs and this is called as folder list and this is called as a property window or tab area and this is called as view toggle or design window and this one is called as a toolbar and this is called as apply and manage tabs so how to open a website in expression web for so in file tab so here you can able to see the menus in menus you go you just click on site tab where you can able to see the new site you click on new site where a new dialog box will be opened you want to select general mt and then here you want to give the location where you want to save it and here you want to give the name of a website okay now i named it a b c and d let me see one by one so let me see a so general option for creating on uh, consist of one page site empty site and import site wizard so there are three options one page site empty site and import site wizard and next one page site creates a new site with a single blank document and empty site create a new site with nothing on it and import a new website wizard create a site filled with documents from a directory on your local computer or a remote file system so but uh, we want to create an 
we want to select empty site for creating an empty one next you can change the location of your website by clicking the browse button by clicking the browse button you can able to select a folder by selecting you can able to change the location and you can change the website name by giving a new name so here you can give the new name by giving the new name you can able to save the website in a new name so adding a web page to an empty website so go to file where you can able to uh, find new and then click on HTML so how to view an HTML code in a web browser it's very simple go to file where you can able to find preview in a browser and then when you click on this it will uh, list out the install web browser select any one to view the output how to save a web page so there are two ways either you can able to see the save button on a common toolbar or else go to file where you can able to find save shortcut is control s you can able to save a web page okay now I will show an practical demo so now I am going for so Microsoft web expression for so now Microsoft expression web 4 is going to open just wait for a second okay now this is an environment so what is this this is called as a title bar and this are called as menus and this is a standard toolbar it's a folder options or folder list this is a page tab and this one is a property window or area and this is nothing but an uh, view toggle and this is a toolbar and this is an apply and manage tabs okay so how to create a new website so here is a site see this in menu in menu just click on site when you click on site you can able to see a new site you click on new site so where you'll be uh, having a uh, general and templates if you want to use the existing template you can select this or else if you want to create an empty one you want to select empty site or else one page site empty site and import site wizard so in case of one page site create a new site with a single blank page and create a new site with nothing in it and create a site filled with document from a directory on your local computer or a remote file system so just select empty website and if you want to change the location just click browse and select a file and if you want to give a name provide a name FTI and click OK ok so again I want to select a new one okay once again I will do it site new site empty site okay okay so a new website has been created an empty website has been created now we are going to uh, add an HTML file how to add an HTML file go to file go to new click HTML file so now I'm going to type uh, welcome to fisherman training institute salala okay then how to view this go to file so here preview in a browser you can select any one of this browser now I'm going to select Chrome 
so here is an information you must uh, save your changes before previewing it okay so I'm going to save it as a default and now file preview chrome now the browser is going to open so where you can able to see the information welcome to fisherman training institute Salala. this is how you want to use microsoft expression web 4 for creating and simple html web page i think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video and just if you have any further queries just email me karthik.me.vlr.gmail.com or just log into my blog karthik kr3ik.blogspot.in and thanks for watching this video thank you